Okay, I'm walking in the front door. Uh, it's a nice front door. It needs to be stained or painted, but very, very similar to what I have at my house. Okay, here is inside the front door. These are the stairs going up. There is a bay window here. All of the flooring has been torn out. It appears that most of the interior windows have been replaced. They have vinyl windows in here. Um, the house was redone in 2006, but it's been thrashed since then. There are lots of built-ins. This is a uh, good size room. Let me give you an idea, a visual of this, of how this room lays out. They have baseboard heaters down here. There's the front door and the bay window. Now, what's interesting, there are wood, wood floors here. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like they're of the quality that they could be saved. It looks like it needs to be carpeted over. There, this is a big wide doorway. It looks like there were double doors here at one time. There are door hinges, so it looks like they were torn off. I believe that they're calling this one of the bedrooms. Uh, probably the master bedroom, honestly. It has a fixture that makes it look like a dining room fixture, and it has big windows. It's a big room. And the ceilings are high. I mean, it does have, this gives you kind of an idea of how high the, the ceilings are above the, uh, I'm guessing they're probably nine feet. Okay, so this is inside the master bedroom area. And there's another room within a room that also has a closet. There's the bathroom in here. So this, this room here, I guess, could be a den or something. This is where the closet is. Could be an exercise room, could be an office, could be a lot of things. So this is the little room that you enter through the master bedroom. And it has a door. And again, vinyl windows does have the glass knob here in here. Um, it, the, tower, the tub, it looks like it, when they redid the house, they did put in a new sink and toilet and mirrors and fixtures here. New tub surround. All of it needs a little bit of work, but not, it's not too bad. Mainly carpet and paint. It looks like there's been some kind of a leak up above because it's peeling there, so there must have been a plumbing leak at some point. Okay, so turning around, walking back through this little room into the master bedroom where the double door should be. Stairway, built-ins into the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen has nice cabinets and quite a lot of counter space. There's a window wall, air conditioner, broken window there. That looked like it was a hanging pan rack or something like that. Uh, double sink, nice cabinets again, upper and lower. The range is still here and the uh, range hood has track lighting, somewhat modernish track lighting here. And this is a large walk in pantry. Okay, so then this is again looking from the entrance to the kitchen across the front door. A little baseboard heater. And then we're walking out into what probably was an add-on because this looks like it may have been exterior siding at one time. <clears throat> here. That's just a guess, but it's wooden siding here. This is a hookup for the dryer. And then there's a door outside. And on the opposite wall is a hookup for a washer. This is looking out the back window. This here, I'm honestly not sure it's completely blocked off, so it may have been a door at one point in time in where this, uh, this whole, whole end of the house may have been added on at some time. So there's additional storage there. Okay, so this is the main floor. What's interesting to note, though, is where do you put the table? Where do you put your furniture in this room? I would presume you could put a dining room table here in this corner. 
that's a possibility. Um, you could, I suppose, put it up against this wall here. Um, but I'm not sure, because if you use this for the master bedroom instead of a dining room, then you really don't have a natural place for a table. Um, if it was small, I suppose you could just fit it in the living room. Okay. So anyway, here again is the front door. We'll go upstairs.